Hi everyone, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here and I just really enjoy chatting with you here on this space. So I just want to say a big, big thank you to all of you who have subscribed and commented and liked the past two videos. I have been overwhelmed with your kindness and just your thoughtful comments. I think I have the best subscribers on YouTube. So please keep commenting. I really enjoy interacting with you in the comments and don't forget to like or subscribe this video if you wanna see more like this one. going to be talking about my shopping ban and I've decided to rename it. It's going to be the no spend year and I think that sounds a little bit less dramatic and more fun. No spending year, right? So first of all, as if you haven't heard about the no spend year, you can go here or here to see um, what I'm talking about. You can also see about my 10 item wardrobe that I showed you last week. So my no spend year is basically when I'm not gonna spend any money um, on myself and I'm really gonna try to cut our family budget as much as possible this year, but specifically for myself. And I need to start by saying that this is much more than a save as much as you can kind of um, plan for me. This is so much bigger. Our family has lived amongst the poor for many years and where we live now is no different. Just yesterday, my neighbor boys came, as they know they always can, and asked for food because they had eaten nothing all day yesterday. And while I struggle on the one hand to make sense of this, can so quickly swing back to being materialistic even when I live amongst people who have real need. So making do is basically the theme for this year. What can I make, how can I make do with what I have? And as you saw last week, I have my 10 item wardrobe. I have another 10 item wardrobe for fall winter, even though it's not really fall winter, which I'll show you in the fall. Um, and then I'm just planning to rotate those for the year and we are going to make do with what we have. And so I'm going to read you the list of all the things that I'm not going to be buying. And no online shopping at all. The end. No buying clothes of any kind. Not even underwear. We don't really wear socks, so, but I use them for exercise, so those should be fine. Um, no shoes. No eating out, which might sound like a shocker. No eating out, which... Okay, that might sound funny because we live in Uganda, but there's such good food. There's Indian food, there's Ethiopian food, there's Korean food, which I didn't even know I loved Korean food, but it's amazing. Um, there are these cute little places to go around town and often I'll, I will think, oh, I just need a little time out with my girlfriend or whatever. Well, that's coming to an end. Girlfriends, I'm baking something and you're coming over here and we're gonna hang out on my veranda. And that's what we're gonna do. No books, movies, music. And I'll tell you more about that later. On another video, I'll explain to you how I'm gonna still read, because if you know me at all, you know I love to read. No apps, that's no exercise apps, no music apps, no prayer apps, no no buying apps, no wine. Now, I, he I hear the, cl the unsubscribe clicking so fast right now. Oh! The missionary drinks wine. Yes, she does. I love a nice glass of wine on the veranda once in a while at the end of the day or when we have friends over, but it is a huge budget zapper and so no wine. I'll be buying no makeup, I'll be buying no household or decorating goods, and I'll be buying no plants, which might sound funny, but I like to decorate with potted plants, so I'll be buying no plants this year. The idea isn't to say no, 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 but to say yes, to say yes specifically to God and making space for him in my life and to make do with what I have. I can't help but notice behind me here is a quilt that I made. Um, we were missionaries above the Arctic Circle in Alaska for our first couple years of marriage. And I quilted that puppy in a 300 square foot house 
that quilt was about as big as the house was and I sat there and quilted while I was pregnant with my second child and just had it all over everywhere and I like that idea because that was probably the simplest and most frugal I've ever lived in my life. So I want to hear from you in the comments. Many of you, when I first presented this idea two weeks ago um, in the first video, you said you were in. Um, but I want to know, are you really in? Are you interested in trying this out with me? It doesn't have to be for a year. I like to set big goals and hopefully I can stick to it. But if you want to try it with me for a month and just see what happens, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Even if you think it's crazy and you don't want to try it, I would love to hear from you in the comments anyway. I really enjoy being on this journey with you and I want to share as openly and honestly as I can throughout this journey and coming later this week some hard things that are going on in my life and why you might not see me here for a week or two. But um, my goal in sharing these videos with you is just to encourage you. When I was a young mom especially, I was just craving encouragement, craving somebody else to say, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing, this is what's working, and I wanna encourage you on the journey. And I hope wherever you are today that you feel encouraged, that you feel blessed, and that you feel like you have a friend somewhere in the world. She's in Uganda, but she's still your friend, and she wants to encourage you and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. So please like or subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon. I'm gonna post another video later this week, like I said. And also, don't forget to talk to me in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.